starting February 1st, you may see higher bills as AWS has started charging for something which was free so far. And that caused this anomaly. Let's scroll down and try to find that potential root cause. Here we can see Amazon VPC caused this. Let's click view root cause link. 11 cent daily cost is coming from that root cause. If I quickly check here, I can see some charges started from February 1st. Here it is 24 cent. Click bills under bills and payments. Scroll all the way down. Click virtual private cloud and expand US East. Here we can see new billing component public IPv4 address, which is $0.005 per hour for each in use public IPv4 address. Previously, it was applicable for unused IP addresses. Here you can see I have two EC2 instance running in US East. So let's do the math. It is 24 cent and which is matching here. Starting February 1st, AWS free tier is giving 750 hours of free public IPv4 address usage. So if you are in free tier, then nothing to worry about. If you are not in free tier, then you are going to pay $43.8 per year per IP. Click cost explorer under cost analysis, change the time frame, type public IP for usage type, select all, click apply. Scroll down and here you can see the total IP usage hours for all your public IPs. Click Amazon VPC IP address manager. This simplifies IP management workflows like planning, tracking, monitoring or auditing of IP usages across all region and all accounts. Click create IPAM. Check this box to allow IP address manager to replicate data from member accounts to delegated admin account. Choose free tier. Let's skip optional fields. And for operating regions, you can select the region you are interested in. Let's click all add regions for this demo. Click create IPAM. It will be created very quickly. Let's click dashboard under monitoring. Here it says upgrade required. Reason is free tier allows to choose only single AWS region and account, but advanced tier, it allows two or more AWS region and account. Click upgrade to make the change, choose advanced tier and remember AWS will charge you hourly basis for each active IP that will manage using IPAM. Save changes. Let's go back to dashboard. Generally it takes few minutes to populate all these wizard. Click public insights. This chart shows all public IP types. This chart shows all associated unassociated being your own IP address or Amazon owned IP addresses. You can use different filters to focus on IP types that you are interested in. Here we can see count of different types of IPs in different days. Public IP count per region and total public IP count at account level. Scroll down and you will find all public IP addresses in this table. If you want, you can take export also as CSV file. As I have selected advanced tier, so let's select the IPM and delete it to avoid incurring charges. Select cascade delete. Type delete and click delete button. Quickly refresh to confirm. Utilize IP address manager to identify current usage of all IP addresses and then use this information as input to your next course of action, which is cost optimization. In upcoming video, we will discuss about different strategies to optimize cost in the context of public IPs. If you got value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching.